What's up, folks? I'm DJ Wonder here with your top five requests of the week. I feel terrible, but the show goes on. Who cares? And stick around to the end because I have an exciting opportunity to work with a legendary group. Number five, Jamie XX, Young Thug, and Popcorn. I know there's going to be good times. This week, let's talk about some forgotten tracks you can use to revive your playlists. Do you remember this Jamie XX banger? Jamie is a British electronic producer in the band The XX. He decided to make a solo album of all his production stuff called In Color in 2015. You can play this in or out of reggae, or maybe in the middle of a DJ Mustard West Coast set. It's a great tool. Jamie XX said he was inspired to make this song as he was listening to Hot 97. I was also inspired by Hot 97. So much so to work there and make radio my career. And now I have no life skills or job prospects. Good times. Number four, Missy Elliott and Eve for my people. I love the hip house revival of the early 2000s. Timberland, Kanye, Rod Digger, Joe Button all had house influenced tracks, but the biggest one might be this 2001 song by Missy Elliott. For my people is a great song to bring back in rotation and segue into current house songs because it has the same production vibe. Also, Missy must have been very happy and thirsty while writing this song because she keeps mentioning ecstasy and orange juice. Weird. Number three, yeah, yeah, yeah's heads will roll. I know we all play the A track remix of this as we create our own Project X every night. But it's time to throw in the original for a seasonal twist. As we get closer to Halloween, I'm gonna start highlighting some spooky requests. Heads Will Roll is an All Hallows Eve banger strictly because of its video. It features a dancing werewolf who eventually eats his audience. And that's a great metaphor for what the music industry does to us all. Number two, drum, cha-cha. I remember hearing this song back in 2015 and being instantly hooked. I ran it back several times, not because of the lyrics or soulful tone, but because it sampled Super Mario World. I always wonder what people are up to who pop off and then cool off a little bit, especially when I'm looking in the mirror. So I checked out Shelly's page, and he seems to be enjoying life, cooking, and still making music. Sometimes it's better to take a step back in this industry and navigate from the outer circle, so you never get hit with any laced baby oil. But do it sound so crazy? Yeah. And number one, Black Sheep, The Choice Is Yours, Revisited. Yes, we play a version of this every night with Crooklyn Clan's Be Faithful, but have you attempted to let Drez's verse play instead? I've been chronicling Gen Z's reactions to playing a muddy sounding 90s song back to back with current hits, and I've been pleasantly surprised. But club goers probably only know this one because it triggers memories of dancing hamsters. You can get with this, or you can get with that. Did you know that was a Scion disc commercial? Also, Black Sheep is back together and touring. So if you're a producer and you have some heat for an upcoming reunion album, send all beats to Beats for the Sheep at gmail.com and don't say I never did anything for you. Whew, barely made it through, but that's your top five requests of the week. I'm DJ Wonder and I'm gonna go sleep now.